What's going on guys, this is Burrs. I want to talk to you today about the Spec Ops brand Medium Medical Pouch. Now they have a small, a medium, and a large. Uh, like I previously said, this is the medium. It fits in all the essentials that you'll need and nothing else. It's rather compact with uh, having a, a good IFAC, a good individual first aid kit, and uh, having all the essentials, but it's not going to have everything to put in there like a kitchen sink. So let's go ahead and I'll take this off and we'll get a closer look. Alright, so here's a closer up. All right, so here's a look at it with it off the plate carrier or off the uh, webbing that I had it on there. As you can see, it's relatively small. It's gonna fit all your essentials in there. Now, as far as the construction, this is a 1000D Cordera. It's stitched very nicely. Um, all the stitching on here is, is well done. It's double stitched actually right here, as you can see there. You know, very nice, very well made. And the best part is it's made in the USA. So it doesn't get any better than that. And the price point also around $20 to $25 for a multi-cam pouch is a really good deal in my opinion. And I'm really glad to see a company that's kind of stepping up and making pretty good gear and with a reasonable price for the consumer. Now as you can see here, it has this red tag on the top here, this red webbing, which is kind of like an identifier for uh, either you if you're kind of out of sorts and uh, when you're in a situation or uh, a teammate or someone else around the area. If you get into uh, trouble, they can identify this as your medic pouch. Now, as far as the full unable to subdue that, I don't really like that. I wish this was maybe like Velcroed on or something like that um, or some kind of other identifier because that is a large red part there. But it does work very well as far as an identifier. As you can see here on the bottom, you have a drain hole and it's, it's a clip design, a little buckle, uh, buckle design and it has Velcro right here. Okay, and you can actually not use it if you don't want just by kind of flipping this down you can kind of get rid of that for silent operation you know um, if you are already having to use this I'm pretty sure though it's gonna be in a noisy environment so it's up to you if you want to use that or not um, I choose not to because it already has the buckle and the buckle does fine now let's get to what I have in here now I have some tape in here I got my gloves I have uh, my scissors here Soft T, uh, soft tack T tourniquet, Israeli bandage, quick clot, chest seal um, in case of a gunshot wound. This is the um, hyphen chest seal. And as you can see, that all fit in there rel relatively tight. If you want to, you could fit a nasal pharyngeal airway in here if you needed to. Um, it'd be really tight though. Um, I've been debating whether or not to have one in here but um, you could also fit that in there. But like I said, as you saw in the beginning of this video where we open it up, it is rather tight. Now the reason I like this one is it is kind of in the medium size range. I have a tactical tailor one that I have previously reviewed and I'll put the review down there. As you can see, much bigger, much larger capacity with this. And like I said in my video review of this, this is more of like a medic assistant pack than a individual first aid kit. It's just really, really large and uh, in charge. And for the plate carrier, this is pretty much the same. You know, this is the size I like. This is um, comparable to the HSGI blowout kit um, as far as the size goes. You're gonna get, you know, all this stuff in there and that's pretty much all you're gonna get in there. So I'll go ahead and put it back in so you can see how it goes in there, how it goes in there in regard to the room of everything. Put this in. And I'll put this in. You can see everything fits pretty snug in there, which is good because then you're not going to have a lot of noise when it comes to the, the material, the packing material that some of this stuff has. Like the Israeli bandage has a little bit of this. So you put that down and you zip it tight and um, you don't have a lot of uh, noise either because of you know having a nice tight uh, fit there. Now the connection to your plate carrier is done by this system here with a snap. Even though I'm not a huge fan of it, it does work, and um, I haven't had any problems with it coming off um, or wear and tear. You know, this has been on my Mayflower plate carrier for probably six months now. Um, this is the one I, I bought and I went with because I really like the size, like I said, and I like the fact that it does have the ability just for like a buckle. Um, but this, you know, this works. Um, what happens is you, you route it down through, you get to the bottom, and then you kind of tuck it back up in and then you just uh, snap it on there. And it does have the back part here which will uh, resist it from coming back up. So if you put this on here, let me show you a demonstrate here. 
um, this will keep it from coming back uh, back up because it has that little part there that uh, kind of flares up and doesn't allow it to come back up very easily. Now as far as the size goes, the actual size, this is seven and a half inches tall by four and a half inches wide and three and a half inches deep. So that's, that'll give you an idea of how big it is uh, in reality. Um, if you want to use it, you know, uh, measuring tape or whatever, if that's what you're looking for. Now as far as the construction goes, I was talking about earlier about the double stitching. It has bar tacks pretty much where they need to be to be very stout. And I really don't have any concerns with this pouch not lasting a really long time for me. And I really can't say anything, you know, super, you know, negative about this because they really kept it pretty simple, but they also made it really well. Like I said, the only negative thing I would say is if they have an option where you can kind of maybe change around this uh, identification or maybe just make a patch for up here with a patch that you could put on or off so you could put a subdued one on, um, something like that I think would be an option that maybe the market would enjoy rather than having an actual dedicated um, identification marker here. So if you're looking for a really good deal on a medic pouch, that'll definitely fit the stuff in there that you desperately will need in a situation of probably like a gunshot wound or something like that. Um, I would definitely look at this one if I were you because it's in the price point of $20, $20 to $25 and you're getting multicam or whatever else you need or want and you're getting a really tight, really good, well constructed medic pouch um, you know, with a drain hole and, and options. You know? If you, you want to run the, the Velcro you can do it, if you want to run the buckle you can do that. You, know? and you can fit everything in there and this is definitely a stout medic pouch. So this is actually the first Spec Ops gear purchase I made, which I think it was like six months ago, a year ago, something like that, I've had it. And you know, I've had it outside in the rain, I've had it to, um, you know, through some training and rolling around on the ground, and you know, it's set up really well. And you know, for me, I can't find, you know, a better pouch as far as price point and what you're gonna get. You're getting, I'm getting multicam here for under $25, and I'm able to fit all my gear in there. You know, and it has the red identification marker, um, it has two different options for um, you know, shutting it with the Velcro, non-Velcro. It's constructed really well. And the best point is, is it's made in USA. So for the under $25, if you're looking for a medic pouch, you know, this one's really one that um, I recommend. And it's the first purchase I made at Spec Ops brand. And based off of this, definitely going to look their way for probably a few things in the future as well. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and let me know. If you have uh, purchased Spec Ops gear stuff and you have some opinions or whatever, go ahead and make a video response as they're always welcome. And until next time, later. Um, if you want to get a needle fan on AOA, wow, that sounded stupid. <laughs>